Okay, so let me show you how you can create this ice effect in Blender. So when I was messing about with this uh, funny looking scene here, uh, I stumbled across a way to create what I like to call the ice generator. So we're going to create this uh, ice effect and we also going to learn how we can animate water and how we can create a nice looking atmosphere. So if you're wondering about what's going on here, we have some human junk floating up to this uh, unknown object and if you want to learn how you can create this effect there go and check out my particle tutorial series and you're gonna learn that and a whole bunch of other stuff so at the end here um, I wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, penguin so this penguin here told me that I needed to tell you to go and like this video and also he wanted me to say that he would really much appreciate if you also can subscribe to my channel and obviously this penguin has uh, some kind of weird relationship to these uh, aliens here so uh, you just uh, do you but um, okay so enough um, <laughs> enough uh, funny talk uh, let's uh, just get into the tutorial here Okay, so let's create this uh, ice generator. So I'm just gonna select everything here and exit all the way. And then we're gonna change our timeline into a geometry node editor. So click here, and go to geometry node editor. And obviously we need something to work with. So we're gonna bring in a cube and I'm gonna click on new. So if you're not familiar with geometry nodes, that is perfectly fine. Just follow my lead and you'll be good. So we're going to start off just by deleting this group input here. So X that away. And then we're going to go shift A and bring in a volume cube. Then we're going to connect the volume into the geometry of the group input or output so now we need a node that can transform this volume here into something solid so I'm gonna go shift A and search for volume to mesh and bring that in there and then we need a couple of more nodes so I'm gonna have a math node connect the value into the density of the volume cube and we're also going to change this add to subtract and we're going to need two more nodes so we're going to use some Vonroy texture node and also a noise so a noise texture connect the factor into the value of the math node and the distance from the Vonroy node into the value here <coughs> okay sorry so um, we are uh, now looking at something weird um, so just to show you here if you want to mess about with this thing if you change the scale you can create all kinds of weird looking shapes but we're gonna create this ice generator so we're only gonna need the top surface on this cube so what we can do is go over to this volume cube 
and go into this density section here just hold down shift and just drag this all the way up like that and what you also want to do is to increase the area of this uh, geometry node setup so we can just increase it like this and make it way bigger and more complex so now we can bring it go to top view just bring it into the center a little bit like that and um, let's bring in our water plane so we're gonna go shift a mesh and plane scale up this plane and just bring it up to somewhere like that and um, now it's time to change our environment so we're gonna go to render properties we're gonna use Eevee so turn on ambient bloom and screen go down to world properties we're gonna click on this little yellow dot here to so click on that and we're gonna use a sky texture so this sky texture here works in Eevee but it works better in cycles but uh, it is um, good enough to, the, to for me so it's probably good enough for you as well <laughs> okay so uh, let's just go into render uh, view here uh, so now this uh, is obviously way too bright so we can set this strength down to 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 so I'm going to start with 0 0.2 and uh, we're going to change this uh, these surroundings a little bit so first off I just want to say when you're working with uh, a shiny material like this uh, and also a uh, um, sky texture you want to make sure that uh, you put your camera in the right angle so if I go over here <coughs> sorry <coughs> oh, woo. sorry again um, okay so if I go over here as you can see um, this side here is not as interesting as this side so you want to have the light source coming in and um, create a reflection effect onto the eyes that we are going to create so now what you can do here is um, set the ozone to a higher amount so that will bring in a nice shade of blue like that and we can also decrease the dust just bring that down and uh, just to show you uh, if you use this air uh, you can turn this entire environment into something more desert like like that but we're just going to keep it on default so something like this is fine so let's bring in some materials here so um, if I go N and I'm going to use uh, this blender kit add-on if you don't have this add-on this is sort of a must-have in the blender space because it will make your experience so much easier uh, so you can bring in all, all kinds of materials and all kinds of objects with this add-on uh, so just download it and bring it in if you don't have it and come back to this video uh, if you already have it we can just continue so I'm gonna go material here open this eye and I'm just gonna search for eyes and uh, when you're bringing in a material onto a geometry node setup it's a little bit different than with a regular mesh so we need an object to uh, another object here so we're just going to bring in a plane like that and we're going to use this object to bring in the material and bring it from this object over to 
and the ge geometry node setup and then we're just going to delete this plane so just bring in the eyes like that and now if we click on the geometry node setup we're going to need a new node so move this group output and I'll open up a little space here and we're going to go shift a and we're going to go for a set material node so now if we click this little icon here we can just select our material like that so now we can just delete this plane here and we're just going to click on the other plane a water plane and we're going to search for water and we're going to bring in this water here so now this starts to look like something so what we can do now is sort of fine tune uh, this uh, eyes we want to make these flakes here to be bigger so if we set the scale to something like that and yeah you can also customize it a little bit there with the noise and what you also want to do just to show you if you bring in a light here so this will make this shiny effect there so if you set this to 100 as you can see you can have this uh, shiny looking effect going on so let's get into the animation here or the way to create a, a ice generator so we're gonna animate this uh, scale section on the Vonroy node so we're just gonna delete everything here and go hash and frame and divided by 2000 so if you bring this to a lower number uh, this animation will speed up so we're gonna set it to a higher number and just uh, see what we got so this doesn't look too good so if we use this noise scale here so here we got something so we can also bring this a little bit closer to the water and to make this look as you saw in my scene uh, it's all about having patience and um, what I also did I did duplicate this entire setup here so you can just duplicate it like this and just bring it over like that and then scale it so we can go to top view So now this starts to look like uh, some cool looking ice. So that is fantastic. Uh, as I told you, here is all about being a little bit creative and uh, use your imagination as well. Because what you can do is duplicate this one more time and then bring it back and we can also sort of like scale it and just make it bigger of 
think you get the ID so you need to go in and play a little bit with this uh, technique to make it look really good and just uh, experiment a little bit with this scale setting before you uh, create a driver as well and um, the last thing uh, that I can show you here is to animate this water so this water here if you bring in a timeline uh, just uh, gonna create a new window change this to a timeline this water that we brought in will stop animating on a certain frame so we can just click on it and go into the shader editor and then we can just delete uh, so this green uh, uh, stuff here symbolize that this is already has an animation in it so we can just right click and clear keyframes and uh, then we can do this uh, hash thing again so hash frame divided by 2000 so, yes yeah, so we can actually go hash frame divided by 4000 so just to make the water move more sl slowly so now this water will animate the entire time so and you also want to put the camera uh, in the angle towards the light here and you can also experiment with the different light sources if you want um, so maybe put a sun lamp in the back here and make it uh, reflect in this direction so I think this is uh, it uh, if you learn something uh, please subscribe and have a great day wherever you are and peace out